Katie actually wrote this cover story, just so you know. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes. I think Elizabeth Meineke wrote that story for us, our magazine editor. So. Does it really matter? All right. <laughs> Jim Carrey announced that he cannot support his new flick, Kick-Ass 2, due to its violent content. He cites his change in hearts in Sandy Hook and apologized to others involved with the film. Well, good for him and lucky for him, too, oh that a genius like Jim can make conscious-based decisions long after such movie violence has brought him great fame and wealth. It's like a star in his 40s denouncing vaccines only after getting the polio shot when he was a kid. Sound familiar, Jim? And how odd his conscience bothers him now when it's time to promote the picture. Sorry, an attention-seeking celeb suddenly wants to shut up. I think it has more to do with avoiding publicity than principles. Or maybe he's really learned the benefits of restraint. Remember his tragic, unfunny anti-gun video that danced on the grave of Charlton Heston, one of the great movie stars and civil rights activists of our time? That hateful video was way worse than the harmless fantasy of Kick-Ass 2, and it soiled Carrie for tens of millions of Americans forever. Maybe he got that. I doubt it. To him, politics is fashion. Oh, what to wear this month. But it's good he apologized to his movie crew for his decision affects everyone on that film, from the co-stars who make far less than he does to the writers and the gophers. Although I doubt it alleviates their anger over him dissing their work, his soothed conscience pays no mortgage. <laughs> what are you? What is but going on? What's going on? While you're doing all of that, oh, you look over and Bob's like beauty school drama. He's like this, and he's looking at my compact. He was trying to, yeah, like, you know what he was doing? He was trying to ruin my vibe. That's what he was trying to do. <laughs> That's oh exactly what I was doing. Saying. All right, KG, since himself. you're already talking, look isn't it unfair? to the crew of the film to rag on a movie as it's coming out. It'd be like if The Five started and all of a sudden I go, oh, God, I hate that show. That's what he did to these people. Or you go, I hate that segment. Yeah. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> okay. So, ah, gotcha. Okay, so I've worked on movies in a variety of different roles, and one of, them, one of those the, roles... Uh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> really? In Germany? <laughs> Not Not those kind of shows. Silicon Valley or what? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yes. Anyway, so I know what it's like. I've done everything from, you know, having a speaking role yeah. to being what I guess maybe what you call speaking. a gopher or <laughs> speaking roles. My point is it's going. Like, <laughs> to being an extra. So yes. it's not fair. I get you know, yeah. what he does has a direct economic impact, unfortunately, on the film, the people who rely on this for their well being, their financial livelihood. So but this is just more of him trying to get attention on Twitter and being ridiculous and reckless. And the guy just has no center, he's just all over the place. Bob, what do you think? Is this a product, a product of a guy who just moves in and out of political issues because he has nothing else to do? I, th I think it's probably going to be a dog of a movie, and so he's trying to lower expectations. But, uh, <laughs> but listen, the fact of the matter is that if he is impacting on these other people's uh, welfare, it's not as if there's, there's not a lot of violent movies out all the time. What, are we kidding ourselves? Just because he's got a violent movie, there'll be another one next week, there'll be another one the week after that. What difference does it make? I think what he's trying to do is he knows he's got a dog of a movie, and he wants to try to get out from yes, underneath Exactly, it. exactly my opinion it's completely. That, there, there was absolutely no buzz. No buzz about that movie before he decided right. to do this. Now all of a sudden, people like us are putting him on TV, saying, "Oh, what's that movie going to be all about?" Greg I, I, I agree. His career. I think well, he's actually helping the people who work yeah. on that film because he yeah. maybe made that film a little bit relevant. I think he should take the money he pays his armed bodyguards outside his home yeah. and pay the people who don't make as much and pay the people he's ruining this movie for. But. On the hypocrisy side, where was he? Aurora happened before this movie was made. Columbine happened before this movie was made. Chicago happens every single day before this movie was made. Where was he then? Right. Why is it yeah. now? Yeah, it's never about the handgun crime, is it? No, it's never about the handgun crime in the in the cities with the most gun control ever. He has all those guns and bodyguards. He's very worried about Greg Gutfeld, but you know, come on. I would be without too. a step ladder. Been you living can't in his front yard for This guy's got bodyguards for what? He Bob, where apparently you thinks that they're important. Hey, we... And he pays armed bodyguards to sit outside of his house you while he tells all of us of that we <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Can we talk about Madonna? Madonna oh, supposed to say that? Madonna was on uh, Good Morning America and they talked to her about guns. Let's check it out. Is that a bad word? But that choreography drew criticism with the first act of her tour relying heavily on the use of guns. Did you ever think about not including that in the movie? No, that's like that would be like asking people to not have guns in action movies. I mean, the thing is Guns don't kill people, people kill people. There were several movies that delayed releases because of the shootings, for example, at Sandy Hook Elementary School. So there wasn't right. any doubt or, or any hesitation. Well, that's not going to change the situation. This all comes from fear and ignorance and, and um, people not really raising their children and paying attention to what's going on. So Eric, she just echoed the NRA 
like yeah. slogan. Guns <laughs> she's, don't kill. She's channeling her her inner conservative. Yeah, I love Madonna for that. Bowling had like glass eyes. Wow. Like he has I'm, a crush I'm on her in now. Love good good yeah. job, Madonna. Material yeah. in girl. The tank, going Madonna, all Madonna, in the tank. Perfect. Your Amen. career's on Madonna. the slide too. So you got to try to coach no, up the right not. wingers. I don't think she. I don't know if she. That's exactly what she meant though. What she said. It's out of fear. Yeah, we did. But it's like out of fear and ignorance. I think she was just throwing words together. I don't know. She made perfect sense to me. I say amen. Madonna, your career is so much better than Lady Gaga. If she made sense to you, that means that, well, certainly better than Lady Gaga. I don't know who Lady Gaga is, but apparently she's somebody big. Who cares? met her. Oh, that's right. I met her. I met her. I said, what do you do? That's right. I said, what do you do? I've never heard this story before, have you? Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, Rihanna. All right. This is falling apart before our eyes.